Thank you for joining us. You are a part of an elite group who recognizes that black women's health should be at the forefront of the national conversation. We are mothers, daughters, activists, entrepreneurs, entertainers, corporate warriors, and more, who help boost the economy and often drive the national conversation. For 38 years, the Black Women's Health Imperative has strived to amplify our voices, help enact policy that protects us, research our issues, create programs that enhance our lives, and produce events like this one to ensure we keep the conversation going about the issues that matter to us most. So, let's get started with our program. What's up, guys? It's G. Garvin. This is the Black Women's Health Imperative. It's Soul Food Sundays. You're going to cook along. We're going to have a great time. We're going to do some black eyed peas, some salmon, and, of course, we got your chicken. I love Sunday supper. It takes me back to the days when I was a child. It was important. Mama didn't care where you was at, what you was doing. You better be at the dinner table for Sunday supper. What's great about what we're doing is we're taking some of those classics, those traditions. We're going to make them a little healthier for you. Hang out, it's your man G. Garvin. Black Women's Health Imperative, it's going down. All right, first step. By the way, I've already washed my hands, so don't give me no grief. All right, you didn't see it, but it got done. All right, so let's talk a little bit about why I love black eyed peas, because I grew up eating black eyed peas, right? So one of the things that was great about the hood there's this, this huge misconception that there's this, this bad thing around being, you know, in the hood. But in the hood, there's just love of food, right? It didn't matter where you, where, where you were, if you was up the street at Miss Dorothy's house or down the street at Mr. James's house. At dinner time, that's where you ate, right? That was love. That was community, right? That's what, what, that's what we did. And Black Eyed Peas is truly a staple. So what we're gonna do today is, is help you take those black eyed peas that you've traditionally done, and we're gonna kick them up a little bit, you know, with a healthy twist, no salt, a little bit of garlic salt, some onions, and some turkey andouille sausage. So let's start with this. One of the things that we do first is we went ahead and cooked the black eyed peas because we wanna make sure that you have the time to spend with your families, right? Cooking black eyed peas can take all day. You may have homework, you may have laundry. You just may have your, body, your side business. We want to make sure with these recipes, you are also efficient at home, okay? So start with cooked black-eyed peas. Now, undoing sausage. What I want you to do is take that sausage, and, and by the way, you don't have to use undoing. You can use turkey sausage. You can use uh, ground turkey. I just want to make sure you're using that, uh, that healthy component, okay? So take those. We're going to split them right in half. Right, and this is really personal to me because when I think about everything my mother did, this is not something she would have done. So I'm staying true to my tradition of things that my mother did and things that my mother taught me, but I'm just elevating them. Okay, so cut those in half, and then you're just gonna you're just gonna slice them. Okay, be careful, nice and easy. You ain't got to get your food network on. Just be consistent and safe. Okay. Just like that. And as you cut these, I'm always thinking about, you know, those great stories, you know, growing up with four sisters and my mom, you know, who, who was a single parent and just how much the tradition of food meant, right? It was, it was not just to sit down and eat dinner. It was about learning what my family was up to, what my sisters were doing, right? Okay, so nice and simple. So what I want you to do now is take a little olive oil in your pan. My pan is hot. That's what we want. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. So what I like to do is make sure that my pan is always warm. Never go into a cold pan with food. It just doesn't work. All right, so a little bit of onions. You want that sizzle. If you don't get that sizzle, it's not hot enough, all right? A little bit of garlic, fresh garlic. And what we do is we take that garlic and we smash it and then we dice it. 
Okay? So you want to let that those those onions saute, right? Infuse is what they call it. Infuse the onions, the garlic. Okay? So let's add that sausage. Yes. Yes, indeedy. So this is not something that's going to be super complicated. That's why we're doing it, right? It's going to be easy peasy, all right? So you want to make sure, guys, whenever you're cooking, color is your friend. Color is your friend, right? I want to make sure you can get a shot of that, okay? You see the color? You see the color we got, right? We got some color on the onions. We got some color on the sausage. That's what's important. And you know why that's important? Because color brings out the flavor, right? And if you don't have that flavor, you know we'll talk about you. We'll talk about you after church. Did you know Miss Willie made them black eyed peas and girl, they were terrible, terrible. No, we're not gonna have that, right? Color, all right, so now you got that color. Take those black eyed peas and you simply add them in, right? Yes. When I tell you this is truly one of my favorite dishes, it is so, so, so truthful. All right? Now, here's what I'm going to show you. Right? I'm going to mix it around. And keep in mind, we're talking about healthy twists, right? So you, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I don't really do that. Well, do that, right? Because that's what it's about. It's about taking those great traditional dishes and elevating them up because it's Soul Food Sunday, baby. That's what you do. That's what you got to do. The black women's health imperative, they want you to eat well, to eat right. That's why they brought your boy in. Come on now. Like my man say, holla at your boy. All right, so listen. <clears throat> a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of pepper. And here's a great thing. I want you to get off that salt. You don't, have, you don't need it. It's all in your head, all right? So, now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take just a touch, just a touch, right there. <clears throat> Create a little bit of a saucy, sauciness, right? A little bit more, because what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure those black eyed peas is a little saucy, right? You see? Oh man, you see? All right. So once that's doing that, this right here, it's when you call your neighbor and you say, those black eyed peas is almost ready, y'all come on now. Right, y'all come on. And that's when you just bring the love, right? You bring the love. So once it starts to simmer, what we'll do is this. We'll turn it off, right? We're gonna do this family style. Why are we gonna do a family style? because that is what represents the African-American community, the community in whole, right? It's the family, it's the love of food. All right, you guys ready for it? <clears throat> mm, mm-hmm. Oh, I want you to smell it. You see the steam? Yes. We ain't had to put no fat back in it. We ain't had to put no ox cells in it. We got a little turkey andouille sausage, right? <clears throat> and I can tell you this, I can tell you this. If you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could add some celery to this with those onions and your friends are gonna be happy, happy. Okay, so my friend, my friend, those are those black eyed peas. I'm G Garvin. This is the Black Women's Health Imperative Soul Food Sunday, making sure you live just a little bit longer. All right, now that we got things cooking, let's take our first break with a message from the Black Women's Health Imperative. They've got a great program that helps prevent type 2 diabetes, change your lifestyle, change your life. Stick around. 
The Black Women's Health Imperatives Popular Lifestyle Change Program is going virtual. CYL Squared is all about healthy lifestyles in a community to help you connect with like-minded people who understand it's a journey, not a race. Are you looking for health tips, cooking demos, and wellness support? Look no further. The app allows you to participate in the program right from home. And you have your very own lifestyle coach. Interested in nutrition? Managing stress? There are resources for overall health, live events, and more. The BWHI app also has communities where you can find your tribe. No matter where you are in your wellness journey, you will enjoy the CYL Squared Lifestyle Change Program offered through the BWHI app. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm G. Garvin. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, love that black eyed peas with the undoing sausage and the onions. Lovely dish. Thanks for sticking around. Here we go, my second one. We're doing a pan-seared Atlantic salmon with the Israeli couscous, uh, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of oil. Um, let's talk about why it's important, why it's healthy. You know, we love fish, right, in the community, right? We like to fry it. We like to bake it. We like to smother it. We do just about anything to it, right? So I wanted you to get out of your comfort zone, right? Let's, let's, you know, I love catfish. I love snapper. I love shrimp. But I want you to open your mind to some salmon, Atlantic salmon, right? So we got the Atlantic salmon. And what's great is we got the skin on. Why do we want to leave the skin on? Anytime you purchase your seafood, the skin not only does it keep the fish nice and moist, right, but it also allows it to stay fresher for another day or so if by chance you make it busy. So keep the skin on and you could always take it off, but cook it with the skin on. It allows those natural juices to flow. That's what you want. All right, so let's start this. If you know anything about G. Garvin, I'm always saying hot pan. It's really, really important. Food is love, love is color, right? When you get that color, you know that you are extracting those flavors, right? You're doing that whole infusion process, right? If it's not, there's no color on it, it's not gonna taste good, all right? So hot pan. So remember now, we are not using salt. We're not using salt for this dish. We have a blackening spice, which you can purchase anywhere. Really great flavor, a little bit of garlic salt, okay? So <clears throat> I want you to start with a little bit of garlic salt. A little bit of pepper, because you still want to bring that flavor, right? There's a huge misconception in that healthy can't be good, and that's just not the truth. Blackening spice. Now, when you think about your blackening spice, you're going to have to spend some time using it, right? So you'll decide at some point okay i like this much or i like this little i i don't you know i don't know how much i want to use so start lighter right you can always grow it okay that's what you want okay so now i got a nice warm pan a little olive oil and then what i want you to think about is <clears throat> when you put your olive oil in Always make sure your pan is hot first. Again, some people like to put the pan down, put the oil in, let the pan and the oil get hot together. You don't want to do that, right? Because what happens is you break down the olive oil. Okay? Make sure it's ready. And guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sear this skin side down. That's what you want, right? You hear that? Skin side down. Why are we doing that? When you sear it skin side down, if you decide you might want to eat that, that salmon with the skin on, it gives you that nice crispy skin, right? Uh, and it really is amazing. And if you look at the salmon, you see it also helps the salmon stay together, right? Sear it with that skin on, right? That's what you want. And I don't want you to try to do a lot to it. Just let it, just let it saute, right? And once you get it on, you get it going with a hot, hot pan, and then you can turn it down just a smidge, right? 
And as you can see, the salmon starts to uh, sort of turn opaque, right? Opaque, right? It's just this, this, this subtle orange, right? You can tell it's, it's searing properly and nice and evenly, okay? All right, so as that starts to saute, what I want to do is talk to you about Israeli couscous, right? I know you like your mashed potatoes and your roasted taters and, your, and uh, all your smotheredness, right? Expand your mind, right? Israeli couscous, it's really, really simple. Just think of pasta, right? We're going to do something with brown rice later, so think of that, right? Israeli couscous. Um, it is similar to a pasta. You, if you cook it just like you would cook rice. Um, you bring it to a boil, you add the ingredients, you let it simmer, you cover it. So I want you to get into it. I want you to give, get, do your research. I'm not gonna give it all to you. Do your research about Israeli couscous. And you can do so much with this. You can have vegetables, you can have chicken. It is wonderfully healthy for you, okay? So we started that. Now watch my pan, all right? I'm gonna turn this on. We're gonna get that ready. Now, while that gets warm, I want you to watch this process here with the salmon. All right, there's a way in which you turn your salmon. A lot of times at home, we watch all those cooking shows and we just be trying to do stuff. Here's what I want you to do, nice and easy. All right, I want you to get a look at this. So, you sort of lean it forward. and you softly flip it over, right? So now what you do is, you put this one behind, <clears throat> so you're not, you're not working over it, right? So lean it forward, flip it over. Now, here's the secret, here's the trick. My skin is nice and crispy, right? So I just wanna get a little color on the top, right? And also, when you think about salmon, it's an oily fish, don't worry about it. We're gonna take that out, we're gonna pat it down, you're not gonna taste it, okay? So we wanna get a little bit of color on the top side. Man, don't you love, right, a good, a good piece of fish that you can have with a nice, healthy salad um, and you don't get the itis, right? You don't get the itis, you still got that energy, you can get up and go and get things done, be that entrepreneur you wanna be, be that good mom, that good dad, that good pop, that good sister you wanna be, because you got that energy, right? So that's what healthy eating is all about, all right? So we got some color, <clears throat> same idea, flip it back over, oh, whoa! That's what you want, right? Look. That is what blackening salmon can look like, my friend, my friend. I'm happy now, I'm happy now. All right, we're gonna let that cook all the way through on the top. Now, for your purposes at home, if you should decide you wanna cook your salmon like a well done, that's okay. You wanna go in the oven, 375, maybe about seven minutes, okay? So we're gonna cook ours here. <clears throat> we're gonna complete the process right on top, all right? So, Israeli couscous. A little bit of oil, like they say, a little bit of acete, right? Okay? I'm gonna go with just, just a touch. Just a touch. Not a touch, baby, a touch. Touch. Garlic. And here's my trick. A little bit of water. I want that water to infuse with that garlic. Israeli couscous. Ready? All right, so I got my salmon on low. I'm just gonna let it do what it do, baby. You wanna break that up? So again, when you think of couscous, there's uh, whole wheat couscous, there's this is tricolor couscous, um, there's white couscous, there's so many different flavors, and I can guarantee you guys, when you do decide you're gonna have this Israeli couscous, you're gonna be super happy, right? That's what you want. All right, look, really simple. A little garlic salt. I'm gonna use a little blackening spice. I'm gonna use a little pepper. 
I used to have a friend that used to say back in the day, Dandada. It's a wrap, right? Nice and easy. <clears throat> Turn that off. Now you got some time. Throw a load in, do a little homework, right? You good to go. You ain't in the kitchen all day and you ain't getting the itis, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take another break. I'm gonna plate this up. And when you come back, you're gonna see how it all comes together. By the way, if you like what you're seeing today, check out reclaimyourwellness.org to get updates on webinars and more events like this. Black Women's Health Imperative and Healthy Women have joined forces to change the national dialogue around obesity. They have launched the Reclaim Your Wellness campaign, focused on addressing obesity as a disease, free of stigma, judgment, and bias. We thank Novo Nordisk for their support in bringing you programs to deliver comprehensive approaches to long-term weight management. Tune into our webinar on Thursday, March 18th at 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time to learn about the numerous options we now have to address the disease of obesity. Go to reclaimyourwellness.org to RSVP. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. I'm G. Garvin. I love you. Thanks for sticking around. The Black Women's Health Imperative loves you. That is why we're doing Health and Soul Food Sunday. Black Eyed Peas going down. Israeli couscous salmon going down. Really, literally going down on the plate right now. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start with my couscous. Now, guys, remember, as I said to you, um, what's great about what we're doing is, you know, everything is family style, right? I'm telling you, growing up in Atlanta with my mom, my four sisters, I mean, literally the whole neighborhood, I, I, I would say like on first Sunday, we'd have like these community dinners. And it wasn't necessarily just about the food, but about the fellowship, right? And talking about how do we create this generational health and wealth, right? And it starts with eating healthy, right? sustaining that energy you need to go out and conquer the world. That's why what we're doing today is so important, all right? <clears throat> so be open to it. Family style is ready couscous. Are right, you guys ready? Nice and simple. And you notice, guys, when you're, when you're cooking in, like, nonstick, I'm using rubber tip tongs, okay? So you don't scratch up your pans. Okay, so there you go. Remember now, we talked about that salmon. I'm gonna keep that skin on it so it's nice and moist. And also, you notice how, you notice how my salmon stayed together, right? You ever cook seafood and it breaks up on you? A lot of times it's because it, a lot of times it's because it doesn't have the skin on. So you can take the skin off. You can eat it. You can do whatever you got to do. You just got to do it. My friend, my friend. I'm going to top it off. A little blackening around the edges. And that, my friend, <clears throat> is dish number two. Blackened Atlantic salmon with the Israeli couscous. I love it. Hey, stick around. We got one more great dish for you. We're going to take another break. Hey, listen, the All of Us Research Program is inviting 1 million people to increase diversity in a biomedical research program. Stick around. I just continued deep diving into kind of healthcare in this country. When you look at people of color, the access to care, the data that does not exist on, you know, black patients. You know, that's why um, All of Us is such an interesting program. It's a program that I'm working on um, and it's being led by the National Institutes of Health mm -hmm. and it really focuses on building a database of diverse participants. So, you know, individuals who have hypertension, we know that there are many, many um, drugs out there that treat hypertension, but 
The question is, um, are you being prescribed a medication that works best for someone with your genetic makeup, or are you being prescribed the, the medication that's new to the market or the one that your physician is most interested in, in finding out more information about right now? Mm. Hey, welcome back, guys. I am having a great time. This is Soul Food Sunday, the healthy version of Black Women's Health Imperative brought me out to help you define healthy cooking, and we love it. Black Eyed Peas with Andouille Sausage. We got the Atlantic Salmon skin on, by the way, with the Israeli couscous. And now, my friend, my friend, I had to do your chicken. I know you like your chicken. You like to fry. You like to bake it, stuff it. But today, we're going to pan sear it with a little brown rice. You're gonna love it, all right? So let's start with a couple of things I wanna talk about, right? When you think of chicken, right? <clears throat> you think of frying it, buttermilk battering it, triple rolling it, and I'm not mad at that, but I wanna show you today a really simple, healthy version of how you do your chicken, and I can guarantee you're gonna love it. So. We're gonna start, as always, we're gonna have a hot pan, right? Let's talk about a couple of safety tips when, 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 we're, when we're dealing with the chicken. <clears throat> You're gonna notice, I'm never gonna touch the chicken with my hand. The chicken is on a separate plate. It is not touching the cutting board. You never, ever, ever wanna have the potential of cross-contamination, so always keep your chicken separate. And if you should have a cutting board, they come in colors. Blue is for fish, red is for red meat, Brown is neutral and for bread, yellow is for chicken. You never, ever, ever use that yellow cutting board for anything other than chicken, right? Now that we got the safety tips out the way, let's season them up. And what's great about today is, I'm gonna show you how to use everything we already have, right? So you go mix and mingle, right? You go, you go, a recipe is only a sheet of paper for you to read. Everything else, you gotta create it. Right? So we're gonna start with some garlic salt. And guys, I also, I wanna share this with you. When you think about what we have here, we got the whole chicken and we took the breast off. So much better to do it that way than just buying like individual breasts. You get the whole chicken, you can roast it off, you can bake it, it's really amazing. But we got the whole chicken, three pound chicken, and we took the breast off. You can have the butcher do it, so don't panic, all right? And you can really taste the difference in the chicken when you do it that way, all right? Got some black pepper. And we're gonna add some of that blackening spice, right? Don't worry about what's in the recipe. This is gonna add flavor, okay? It's great. <clears throat> okay? So, I got a nice hot pan. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go with a little oil. And by the way, I got my oven preset. We're gonna go in the oven after we do that, okay? Make sure that the oil is evenly coated. You're probably saying, man, I ain't never had chicken like that. Nope, that's okay though, okay. Remember, safety tips. I'm never gonna touch the chicken. Tongs, right? I'm gonna go skin side down. Skin side down, okay? I'm gonna go skin side down. That's what you want, guys, okay? So you wanna get that flavor, right? You're gonna sear that skin. So especially if you're used to doing like fried chicken, and I'll be honest with you, it's really sort of hard, it's really sort of hard to get to that place where you're eating chicken in a way that you're just not used to, that's okay. All right, you start on a high heat, right? And then like everything else, <clears throat> you're gonna turn it down just a little bit. What do I always tell you? What do I always tell you? Color, is your friend, right? Watch. You ready? You ready. Color is your friend. 
You see? That's what we got, guys. You want to get that color, that blackening spice, that garlic, that pepper. You want to see it all, right? I am promise you one thing. When your food is seasoned well, hint, hint, it tastes better. All right, so you notice I turned my flame down a little bit, right? So now what I'm gonna do is, now that I got some texture on the bottom, I wanna turn it over again, right? I wanna continue searing, all right? So it's nice and settled. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is, back over. Okay, we're gonna go in the oven All right, guys, here we go, ready? So we're preset at 325, and we're gonna let it go for about 20 minutes. Okay, so keep in mind, a couple of things I really wanna reiterate for you. When you think about how you purchase your chicken, right? Not only is it more economically friendly when you get the whole chicken and you're thinking, okay, well, how do I buy chicken? I've never bought a whole chicken. Three pound chicken is the average size for a family of four or six, right? So think about it that way. So you can buy the individual breast, but if you buy the whole bird, have the butcher take it off, uh, think about it this way. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna taste better. It's gonna be more efficient. And it's gonna give you a lot more that you can do something with later. You know, growing up with a single mom in the South, in Atlanta, everything my mother did, she could do something else with the same product. Because when you got five kids, you got to mix it up, all right? So chicken's going to go brown rice. Let's talk about brown rice and why we're going to do this. Because it's healthier for you. It's better for you. I love white rice. I love mashed potatoes. I love roasted potatoes. But I want you to get, get into brown rice in a way that you're just going to push yourself, right? So think about, you know, when you hit that age where you're 35, 40, and you've been eating a certain way your entire life, not only are there challenges, right, health-wise, but then think about this, this new energy you're gonna need, right? Brown rice is gonna help with that. Brown rice is gonna make sure that you are able to have a great meal and continue on throughout your day, okay? So, same idea. We pre-cooked the brown rice for obvious reasons because it takes about 40 minutes. Brown rice is something you can do while you do five other things, right? So now that we got it cooked, we're going to kick it up a little bit using the same ingredients. That's what's great about it. So warm pan. I'm going to go with just a touch of oil, right? Because I want to make sure I got that garlic in there, right? Switch my tongs. And this doesn't need to be super hot, okay? But what I do want to do is I want to make sure that even though it's not super hot because I don't want to burn the garlic, I'm making sure that I am infusing the garlic and the oil, okay? I'm going to add some water. Let me tell you something. A lot of people like to use white wine in the kitchen uh, if you're not a drinker, water is your friend. It is absolutely your friend, okay? So, you see how I do that? Get that garlic nice and loose, okay? A little bit of water, it's not going to hurt. It's going to absorb, the rice is going to absorb it. It's going to make it nice and moist, right? The reason I use this water is because I don't want to use butter, right? Typically, in American cooking, I would make the rice and I would add in butter, and all of these different things, but because we're gonna keep it nice and healthy for you, okay? So no butter, no butter, baby. Okay? And listen, guys. Listen, guys, one of the great things about cooking rice ahead of time, you can cook it for the whole week. I mean, when you do rice ahead of time, you now have the ability to do vegetable fried rice, right? You now have the ability to do broccoli pilaf, right? You can add in a bunch of different ingredients to just create something great. 
and you will absolutely, I promise you, you will forget it's brown rice. Okay? Bring a good saute to it. Let's season it up. A little garlic salt. A little pepper. And a nice something something. Squeeze in some fresh lemon. Ready? Okay. My friend, my friend. You know when I say my friend, my friend, what that means, right? It means it's almost over, baby. You got to lean back. I'm just playing with y'all. All right. So that, my friend, is ready to go. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get yourself ready. We're gonna plate this brown rice. I'm gonna pull that chicken out. This is our final break. Thanks for sticking around, I love you for that. Hey, listen, we're talking about health. Did you know that President Biden reopened the healthcare marketplace to May 15th? So stick around so you can find out more. Did you know that the healthcare marketplace has reopened? That means you can get new healthcare insurance or change your current plan until May 15th. And plans may be cheaper than you think. Most people are eligible for tax credits. Go to healthcare.gov today and get started. All right. Okay, so there's a couple of great things you can do, you know, uh, if you wanted to uh, with this chicken. Uh, you could stuff it. You could, you know, we blackened it. You know, it is absolutely different than what you're used to. But again, the black women's health imperative is really, really specific about making sure you eat better, right? So join us, right? This isn't just something to do. Join us, right? Get there mentally, and I promise you, physically, you'll get there, okay? So brown rice, we seasoned it up. We're going to go. Really simple. There's this huge misconception that brown rice needs to be dry. It doesn't, okay? Family style. Take that chicken. And you notice there's no sauce. There's not a whole lot to it. We seasoned it well. We cooked it properly. We seared it properly. And now, we good to go. What I want to do is I try to do a little more blackening, right? Like so. Squeeze a little bit of that lemon juice right over the top of that bird. All right, so guys, girls, that is the pan seared, roasted airline chicken breast with the seasoned brown rice. That is our black eyed peas with the turkey andouille sausage. This is our Israeli couscous. This is our blackened salmon. I am G Garvin. This has been Soul Food Sunday, the healthy version. The black women's health imperative loves you. I love you. And I want to thank you personally for hanging out with me today. And I look forward to seeing you soon.